This is the final week of events for Club Mass. As you can see, people have turned out to celebrate the final college night that will be held, at least at this location. As I was talking to some people, they said a little bit about how much they're concerned that this closing signifies more than just an end to fun and dancing. It's probably going to take a lot from a lot of people, you know. There's, a, uh, you know, there's people that probably love going here. Thousands of people have created unforgettable memories in Club Mask. On social media, they say that the closing of one of the area's biggest gay clubs is disappointing. For 16 years, Club Mask has hosted some of the biggest names in the LGBTQ community and won acclaim as one of the best gay clubs in the nation. In December of 2019, Club Mask owner Luke Liakas announced that the downtown Dayton venue would close after several attempts to negotiate a lease and even purchase the building. We've tried all kinds of stuff to get this thing worked out, but just to no avail. Liaka says at least three locations in Dayton and one in Indianapolis are being considered for the club. But for now, the community is being supportive during the transition. I thank everyone for their support and reaching out. And that goes for the other bar owners in town, especially uh, Matt and Jared over at MJ's that have reached out to all our staff and offered them jobs. Charlie Earl says although he's never been to the club, he realizes how significant it is to some in the community. And I know that there's bars and stuff that probably is not going to accept them, you know, going to their bars, you know, if that makes sense. And, and that's my point of view, and that's what it's going to take away. The club is closing in two phases. Level two closed last Saturday, January 18th. The second level will close, the first level will close this weekend on Saturday. In Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.